Hello crochet friends! Welcome to Crazy Cool Crochet! This is Sylvia and in today's project we are going to be making this beautiful crochet long open front vest. Now if you recognize the stitch, hopefully you do, or the, the stitch pattern, this is one that I used very recently and with that I made a pullover sweater that turned out absolutely gorgeous. I'm leaving you a photo so you uh, can see what I'm talking about. Now because we are using the exact same stitch pattern, rather than reinvent the crochet wheel, I'm going to go ahead and use the clips from that video tutorial and then come back to this project when it's time to shape the armholes and all of this will make sense as we're rolling along. So for the materials we're going to need a number two yarn, scissors, the crochet hook is an F or 3.75 millimeter and measuring tape might come in handy. This does not mean that that's how much yarn you need. For the detail you're going to have to go below the video in what is called the description box or the description area. You probably have to open that up manually on your device and that's where you will find more detail. Now please remember if you like this tutorial or any of my tutorials, my channel in general, please be sure to give me a quick thumbs up down below, click that little thumbs up, offer a comment. This is super helpful to the channel. We will be working for a size small for the tutorial. This will however be available in multiple sizes. That detail will be in the written pattern which you will find over at my Etsy shop which is crazycoolcrochetus.etsy.com then we're going to skip the first six chains, not counting the loop on the hook. Okay, so here are your six chains, three double crochets, chain one, three more double crochets in the same chain. We're going to call that a shell. Then you will chain two. You will skip three chains down here, one, two, three, skip, then work a double crochet into the next chain. Chain two, skip three, one, two, three. Then work a shell again into the next chain. Then you will repeat that. Skip three, chain two, double crochet, chain two, skip three. Work your shell. You will have three chains remaining. You will skip two chains and then double crochet into the last chain. Then chain four and we will turn the work. Now we're going to start on the first repeat row. So into that chain one space of the shell, we're going to work two double crochets. Chain one, Two more double crochets in the same space. We're going to call that a cluster. Now chain two and go right over to that first double crochet and we're going to work a v-stitch into the top of that double crochet. So you do a double crochet chain one and another double crochet in the same space. That is a v-stitch. Chain two and then repeat for the cluster into the next shell. Two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, chain two and a v-stitch into the double. So work that all the way to the end. So after you work your last cluster of the four double crochets, chain two and then do a double crochet into the top of that turning chain. Chain four and turn. For row three we're going to start with a v-stitch into that cluster. Two 
double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the same space, chain two, move over to that v-stitch and in here we will do the four double crochet cluster. So we'll start with two double crochets, chain one, two more double crochets in the same space, chain two, and then repeat that across the row. So do your v-stitch, chain two, four double crochet cluster, chain two, and continue. After your last v-stitch of the row, chain four and turn. You will always chain four and turn at the end of every row. Now into the v-stitch, we're going to work a double crochet, just one. Chain two. Now into the four double crochet cluster, we're going to work the six double crochet shell. So start with three double crochets. Chain one, three more double crochets in the same space. Chain two. So we'll repeat that across the row. Double crochet in the v-stitch, shell in the cluster. Don't forget your chain twos in between. So as you may have caught on, if you're chaining in the actual design stitches, I don't know what to call that, in these rows it's a chain one. Between, it's a chain two. Chain two, double chain two. For row five, we're going to enter a v-stitch into the double crochet below, chain two, work your four double crochet cluster into the six double crochet shell below, chain two, v-stitch, chain two, cluster, and work that all the way down the row. After you work the last v-stitch of the row, chain two and double crochet into the top of the turning chain. Chain four and turn. For row six, you are going to enter the four double crochet cluster into the v-stitch below. Chain two and then do a v-stitch into the four double crochet cluster below. Chain two and continue. So there's your four double crochet cluster into the V, chain two, and then a V into the cluster below, all the way to the end. At the end of row six, you would have worked your last cluster, chain two, double crochet into the turning chain, chain four, turn, and then you will continue with the repeat pattern. This was your repeat. Six rows, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then you will begin that pattern again. Row seven, three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet, chain two, then a double crochet in the v-stitch, chain two, then your shell, chain two, then your double crochet, just like that. And then for your subsequent rows, just follow what comes next. There you go. After you have completed working 42 rows, we are going to start shaping the armhole. So I have worked row 43 and 44. So row 43, you're going to continue in the pattern as normal. So that row would have had the shell chain two, double crochet, chain two, shell, chain two, double crochet, chain two, shell. Okay, so that would have been five of these stitch sets. One, two, three, four.
four, five. Then you will do your chain two as normal after the shell. And this time you're going to enter the double crochet into that V stitch below. Now, depending on what size you are making, you might end over here, somewhere else. So just do your last chain two and then enter a double crochet into the next available space of the stitch sets I'm calling these. Okay, so for row 43 on the size small, you did your double crochet into the V-stitch below, chain four, turn, and then row 44, again, you continue in the pattern. So now you're going to do your four double crochet cluster, chain two, V-stitch, chain two, cluster, chain two, V-stitch, chain two, four double crochet cluster, chain two, and enter your double crochet into the turning chain. Chain four, turn and continue in the pattern. Now for the opposite side, the opposite front panel, we're going to need to reverse the armhole shaping. So where before the opening was over here, now we're going to need the opening over here. So to do that, we're going to slip stitch across. So at the end of that last row, you only chain one and then we turn. So we can start doing slip stitches across. So try to work into every stitch, working under the two strand chain. Now we need to match up with the opposite panel. So you worked into the V-stitch, your slip stitches, so that you have five of these, one, two, three, four, five sets, five stitch sets that we will be working. So there's that V-stitch where you will do your chaining. One, two, three, whoa. Don't you hate when that happens? Four. Okay, so now we'll continue in the pattern until we get to the end of the row. Chain four, turn, and then continue working up. Now we are going to do a little bit of a neckline shaping. So there's the armhole opening. This would be the center of the front. That'll be the neckline. So we're just going to do a little bit of shaping. And don't worry, I know this looks wonky over here, wonky over here. But that will all get cleaned up at the end. Don't worry about that. So on row 50, which I have already worked. Okay, that's row 50. I continued in the pattern as normal until I got to the end. And I worked that last cluster. So depending again on whatever size you're making, these might end up in a different spot with the sets of stitches. <laughs> I'm having such a hard time wording that. But for the size small, I would have ended with the last cluster, the four double crochet cluster, chain two. And then to enter that last double crochet of the row, we're going to enter below into that cluster. Chain four. So now that will become your turning chain down here. And then that we leave unworked to start shaping it, the neckline. So then you would turn, and now we just continue in the pattern as usual, leaving this side unworked that little bit. For the back panel, we are going to start with a chain of 82 and then work the pattern as you have been. Work for 42 rows. Then we will shape the armhole openings. So now what we need to do 
if you recall from the front panels, at the end of row 42 you chain 1. And then we're going to slip stitch until we get to the second V stitch. There's the first one, there's the second one. Then you will chain 4 and then continue in the pattern until you get to the opposite side and you will work until you get to that second to last v-stitch. Okay, so there's the last one, there's the second to last. So work your last cluster set, whatever goes in here, chain two, and then into the v-stitch work your double crochet. Chain four, then turn and continue in the pattern. So just remember what you did for the front panels. You'll be doing the same thing except this time you're going to work all the way straight up until you reach the same row as you ended on the front panel. In my case it was row 56. Okay so if you happen to have made your panel a little bit longer on the shoulder straps then you want to match the rows that you did for the front panel. Now we place the panels wrong sides out. The right sides are touching each other and we seam at the shoulder using a yarn needle and length of yarn. I use a whip stitch then you will seam the edges. So I like to leave a little wiggle room on the bottom so leave about three or four inches open and start your seam around here and seam up to the underarm. To finish off the long open front vest, you want to do one row of single crochet all the way around. And then the armholes also, you want to do one row of single crochet and that just cleans up all the edges. Now when you get to a corner, you want to make sure you're doing four single crochets in the corner and that keeps it from curling up. You want to do the same thing on the bottom where we left it open a little bit, three or four inches. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this project. Remember to give me a thumbs up down below the video. That doesn't look good. That looks like a thumbs down. No, give me a thumbs up, please. And of course, be sure to come back for the next project. And in the meantime, head over to the homepage and check out my other tutorials. Thank you so much.